tentacle hands or snake hands? I mean... Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, like, if you're an elephant, you can pick things up with noses, but regular noses? No, yeah, sir. Yeah, feet hands and nose hands? Yeah. No. Yeah, no, and you definitely don't want, like, nose feet, because that, oh, that would be awful. Yeah, I'd rather... It'd be such a stinky walk all I'd, the time. I'd rather just have no hands and no feet than have nose hands and feet. Stinky. <laughs> what? Stinky. <laughs> You're not in the wheel. We're low. As long as down there at the side, bottom it has a red button next to the wreck button. Then I yes. actually went to the mystery land. So buried chamber? Yeah, buried chamber. I think I... It's all coming back to me. I know where that is. It's the area that leads to fake Egypt. I was gonna say, it's like mummy land, isn't it? No. That's the something. But it's the area of the castle leading up to it. You're back. <laughs> I just with with the I wish Charlotte could train her magic, just like <clears throat> Jonathan trains his not magic. Charlotte and Jonathan? No, no, that's the Great Stairway. I'm pretty sure the Great Stairway isn't the burial chain, buried chamber. You want me to look up where the buried chamber is and spoil myself? I found it. It's at the bottom of the map for some reason. It's just its own section in the section? It's just the bottom. It's just deeper still. But yeah, I should have thought that. The buried chamber is the lowest point. Because it's buried. Alright, fish. Fish! Because it's chamber. Fish! Oh. Well, here's a good place to find <clears throat> them, isn't it? I like how this looks so dopey. It's like, well, that's because, I mean, the reason it's so easy to find them, and since they're in such big groups, is because they're the chamber choir. What? Chamber? <laughs> Please. That was kind of funny. Please. I I'll, 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 I'll like that. There, maybe there are some good puns out there. Or maybe I'm just in the right mood for them. Come on, drop your fish memes. Oh, the other day when I was... Yep, that's it. That's all. The other day when I was Why at... does the singing like, all star with cartoon impressions... <clears throat> they need Swedish chef in there somewhere, in one of those songs. Only shooting stars break the gorge. I hate that. It's <laughs> incorrect. <coughs> That's not... You, gorge is an interjection. It's not a noun. You can't use it like that. Either way. Goofy so, wouldn't use it like so, that. So the other day, I was at a store, and at that store, I saw two different yard care groups buying different things. And both of, of their both of the yard care groups had turf in the name of their company, and turf I said, wars? "Are you going to start a fight?" And by that I mean perhaps a <laughs> turf war. And I disappointed my friends who were there, but they, then I was proud because I thought it was possibly one of the best puns I've ever made. Did they beat you up? No. Good. I I question their I question their friendship. So if they just beat me up. So yeah, now the, I need to go back to this city. Oh, no, no! Damn it, Jonathan! This is all your oh, fault. Are you going to find Soccer Boy? <laughs> no, I'm looking for Forneus. The weird jellyfish thing? I know he appears in this area somewhere. He's one of the 40 from your Goatia that you like yeah. so much. Oh, and this guy might be too. No, he's Death Mask. He's Count Chuck with wings. <laughs> jiggle, 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 dead. The 80s and 90s in video games was all about having Chuck in your name, and by that I mean I can think of three examples of Chucks in video games during that time frame. And that's, but not the dumb number. I don't think they were called Chucks in Japan. I was talking about Count Chuck, Le Chuck, and Charge and Chuck. Yeah, That's all I can Chuck. actually think of. But right, and Charge and Chuck was probably just Americanized. Into yeah, in Japanese, his name was Football Charlie. <laughs> really? No. <laughs> it's probably something very <coughs> plain but descriptive. I think it's like Ooh, Charging Koopa or something. Is what it's called. 
sword soccer boy. Um. Quit throwing your sword, you dingus. It won't let me find it. There, I took your falchion. Let me ask in Raukow's chat if anyone knows. Mario Wiki. I'm my victim. Oh, he doesn't die from the Yagyu Shuriken. <coughs> <laughs> is Bowser and Koopa the same? Why is it dangerous to use the Luigi board when you ask about ghosts? Oh, wait, here we go. Guru. So they're just named Bull in Japanese. Yeah, it's pretty boring. It's just Nintendo America decided to just give, give them all names. Which I appreciate. Like, the killer bullet was bullet bill. And for Raukow it makes sense because it was Charlie le Chargeur in French. Charging Chuck in other words. Charlie the Charger. Same thing then. And for some reason in Super Mario 3D World they're called Fred La France. <laughs> in but only in only in French? In Nintendo of America French. American French? Yeah, they have a French translation and a France translation, so Nintendo of America would be Canada. Oh. So they just become, like, French Fred? La France, as a name. L-A-F-R-O-N-C-E. La France. Oh. I like Le France. I'm like... And then in Nintendo of Europe, the French name is Bill Dozer, which is far less inspired. Although, I gotta say, I probably like Charlie Le Chargeur the most. I mean, it's the same as Charge and Chuck, but... I right. just mean it sounds nice. Well, Charlie well, Le it's Chargeur. French, of course it sounds That's not true. Not all French sounds good. Killed 80 of you now. And then, in Russian, it's... Koopy Footballisti. Something about football? It just Koopa football players <laughs> is what it would be. <laughs> and then in later game, oh that's, oh yeah, in the in the TV series they were called foot Koopa football players in Russian too. <laughs> Whereas in the games they were Napadaoshi Chak, which is striker Chuck, which implies they play soccer. And then in Chinese, they were called the Helmeted Bull. They don't look anything like bulls. No, but they will charge. And apparently they're made of power-ups. And then it's Yucator de Football Koopa in Romanian, the TV series. Which is, again, Koopa football players. Magic balloon. And then in German, it's football dash Chuck. Football Chuck. <laughs> Which is very blunt. I think that's the silliest sounding. I mean, German it's likes like making that. their nouns have all of the descriptors as part of the same noun. Oh, because it's just all one word? Yeah, although in this case they use a dash, whereas in some cases in German it's just all one word. Sick. Oh, that's right. It gets stronger the more I use it. I can all. I, I'm two damage away from one shot, so I need to practice throwing my sharps.
killed 133 of them. Hey, I have this one. Torchless Panic. I don't. The fear of... It's called Closing Gate Panic. The fear or guilt of roads not taken. Oh, the what ifs? Yeah. I... I'm afraid of doing that. Well, that's what I said. Yeah, I, I have a bit of that. Is that a Mario enemy? Yep. Really? God damn it. Why are you a mean? And then also in German, there's Kuddlemuddle. Kuddlemuddle? <laughs> yeah, K U D D E L M U D D E L. <coughs> Why? Which is basically the same as our word hodgepodge. Oh, you're just looking up silly words? Yeah, I was trying to find crazy long German words, and it came up with a list of strange German words first. And so I just looked into it out of curiosity. Damn you, clickbait! Woof, 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 woof. So, like, the Declaration of Independence in German... Um... There wasn't one. Or, well, a term meaning Independence Declaration. It's not ours in particular, although ours would count as one. Since German capitalizes all their nouns, I don't know if you can tell the difference. They do. Um... It's... Una <laughs> hang... <laughs> What? I mean, so whenever I jump down there, I love you, kill the jellyfish. I love you, <laughs> kill the jellyfish. I'm not even attacking him. Well, then do it again. He doesn't even care if you're, like, out way above him. Um. It's. Unabhagen Gigkeitzer Klarengen. It probably sounds perfectly normal to Germans. Oh, here we go. This is the kind of stuff I'm talking about. I am not going to pronounce this correctly. This, the Guinness Book of World Records recognizes this cumbersome word as the longest German word in everyday use. It means insurance companies providing legal protection. And that's not five different words. In German, it's one word. There, they dropped the pile off. I stole his food. Um, in German, it's one word, and that is Rechtsverschurungsgesellschaften. Oh, God. You know what time it is? Adventure time? Baseball time. Oh, can you slide kick in this? You can slide kick into every Vania. Are you strong enough to do anything with it, though? That was a slide kick. No, I'm gonna have to cheat. Oh. Unless throwing bl throwing sh blades at them isn't cheating. Um, well, it's not really cheating, it's just you won't get any points for doing it. <coughs> uh, but you won't get penalized? <coughs> no. Um, let's see Baseball here. Baseball is a very strange sport, I don't quite understand it. <laughs> <laughs> Danube Steamship Company Captain, again, that's one word in German, would be Donaudampfisch... Dono Damp Schiffar Shells Captain. German is a special language. Here is the German integer 7254. Siebentausendzweihundertzwerhundertfünfzig. <laughs> Which I can see all of the number in there, ver und fünfzig. I can see it all, but unlike in English, it's all one word, which means so it just looks like letter salad. Yeah. Like, so, like a bunch of letters just. This hard. is seven thousand two hundred fifty-four in your chat. God, that looks so uncomfortable, doesn't it? Yeah. Or this is a. Uh, Danube Steamship Company Captain. It just looks like nonsense. 
and this is the one that they said is part of everyday use. Insurance companies providing legal protection. 